this morning we're starting with our tennis our right. table tennis right there in ghana the ittf junior cadet championships where nigeria and egypt where they want will ensure that well other countries just came participate and had to go back mm. but the good thing is nigeria egypt would be representing africa at the world uh, cup which will be taking place later this year that's talking about the world junior championships in thailand so this happened simply because Nigeria and Egypt got to the final. And in the final, well, it was all about these two powerhouses in African uh, table tennis. They claimed gold in the cadet, junior, and under 21 divisions. Mm. So fantastic. Uh, it's always been Nigeria and Egypt uh, when it comes to table tennis, uh, both in the senior yeah. and now in the junior and cadet uh, categories as well. So it's not a surprise at all that they've maintained uh, the status as the best uh, table tennis playing uh, nations in Africa. Fantastic uh, for these young guys and you, know, you imagine the exposure they're going to get when they go to the World Junior Championships uh, itself. Congratulations to all of them and um, oh, they are heroes uh, for now. Since yeah, there's nothing absolutely. else to celebrate at the moment, uh, we're waiting for the Falcons to go to the, uh, yeah. to the World Cup and later on the Super Eagles at AFCON. But right now we need to celebrate uh, these young, uh, fantastic talents. Uh, of table tennis. Yeah, absolutely. In the semi-final, Nigeria shocked Egypt 2-1 in the under-21 level. And, and, the, and that's the junior, talking about the Nigerian boys now, the junior level. Then the under-21 level, they won 3-2, which was a remarkable one for Nigeria. Wanted to see uh, a slides of the results and all that, what went down in Ghana, how Nigeria and Egypt were able to get to that final. Of course, Nigeria and Egypt dominating the whole event. Well, Wow, if we can have that, yeah, let's, let's just get a little celebration of All the right. boys, you know, after uh, winning it. They just had to celebrate, enjoy the short video. Okay, that's uh, just a video coming from, you know, one of the games that was played, you know, that how Nigeria were able to, uh, the Nigerian boys were able to beat Egypt. All right, moving from tennis now, another celebration for Nigeria. Not good medal, not silver. It's all about bronze medal, talking about the, the uh, volleyball this time around. They also, the male volleyball team, uh, were in Egypt and they beat the host in the third place game, which was really a good one, winning bronze medal in the yeah. under-21 Beach Volleyball Championship in the Cairo in Egypt. Exactly. If you can play uh, beach soccer, why not mm -hmm. beach uh, volleyball? Absolutely. Uh, that's what they're telling us right now. <laughs> so fantastic uh, performance there mm -hmm. by Team Nigeria. That's the male side, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, playing against uh, partisan uh, support and uh, mm -hmm. playing against Egypt. And they did just enough uh, to win uh, the bronze medal. And that's enough for them to qualify for the uh, World Championship, which is going to be in June uh, in Thailand. So... More celebrations are for Nigeria. We always talk about every time that Nigeria should be a multi-sport uh, country uh, with the amount of talents uh, that we have uh, in this country. We're starting to see signs of this now. Uh, going forward, uh, hopefully we'll get to see more sports uh, gain that recognition that they have more sports, you know, uh, putting Nigeria's name uh, on the map uh, when it comes to international sports. So congratulations to Nigeria's male volleyball team for qualifying for the World Championship in Thailand. All right, let's take a look at the papers now. I'm starting with it. You have it, Sporting Life. All right, then. Let's start with Sporting Life. Hurricane on crutches. Uh, not very good uh, sight uh, for uh, Tottenham fans uh, out there. Hurricane looks like might be out uh, for the rest of, of the season. He's wearing a protective boot as well, too, so it shows you it's a very serious one. Shaw's own goal, hands, bars are first leg advantage. Uh, we talked about that one. Already showed the money. Chelsea want more than 100 million pounds for Edin Hazard. Quick one on that one. You see Hazard remaining the Chelsea player beyond the summer. 100 million pounds? Too small, right? That's too small. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, <laughs> <Well, laughs> <well, laughs> <laughs> I think he'll go. I think he'll go. But my only, the only snag might be Chelsea's it's transfer bank. Yeah. Mm. If they get a reprieve. Yes, they'll let him go. If not, they'll probably want to hold on to him for another year. But then, his contract. contract is running out. That's the problem. Thank you, Mukai. That's the, that's the problem. So that's, that's, um, still on sports in life. Uh, Man United grab uh, Arthur Verald. Uh, I don't know what it means by grabbing him. United, <laughs> <laughs> United stars are facing 25% pay cut. If, really? Did they do this? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I, I, love do this in I don't know where to go. 
<laughs> but if it happens, it's going to be good. I mean, someone can have 75 cut up. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, I admire Dortmund's work. That's Jose Maurice talking as well. Uh, Tottenham, Arsenal, Chase, Perisic, um, Liverpool to nail over Porto. Uh, Salah is fortunate to escape red card for oral tackle. That's done now. Neymar visits Pele after emergency yeah. surgery. Okay, let's move over to Sporting Sun here. And this one caught my attention. Villarreal wants 100 million euros for Chukwese. There you go. Imagine <laughs> Chukwese and Azad, you know, commanding <laughs> the same fee. <laughs> Azad is in power. Forget about Villarreal the currency. Forget about the currency. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about the currency, exactly. 100. Guys, come on. What did you really? against Barcelona was wonderful. No, come on. I would, if I were to advise the young man, calm down. Learn the game. His education should continue. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't be in a hurry to make any big move. We've seen people make big moves that they work out. Continue your education at this relatively small club like mm -hmm. Villarreal. Not a lot of pressure. Okay. Another, to grow. another Nigerian player here who wants to get into the big league is Juan Kale. He says he wants to play for Arsenal next season. Well, he has a lot of work to do. Um, that mid Asa midfield is no, mm. but hey, Ramsey's leaving, maybe, that, that might, that will pull up a slot for Can he fit in? Ah, oh, has God. a lot of work to do. For, for Umar Kali, for me, I mean, it's been loaned out a, a few times now, and um, if he goes on to help Nigeria qualify for the Olympics, I think that would be a perfect uh, platform for him to sure. advertise himself, because sure. right now, it seems a lot, yeah, that's, don't really... well, that's about 15 months away. Okay. Well, in the, mean, yeah. in the meantime, he can just continue to, you know, play and, and grow. That's, I just feel uh, that's, that's going to be his uh, best uh, okay. opportunity. At the bottom strip here, you have this one. Pogba negotiates Real Madrid deal. Can he just go? Not on the strength of yesterday's performance. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Paul Pogba. His Excellency. His Excellency yeah. Pogba. Yeah, yeah, he was just doing that on the field of play like a king in the midfield. All right, complete sports is the last one for review this morning. What is it about Gennett Raw and favorites? But you have another one here says, Why I don't want Eagles tag Afghan favorites? And he's playing mind games. He said, Nigerian manager playing mind games ahead of the tournament in Egypt. Look, as a rider. It is a tag that we have come to live with. <laughs> like it or not, when you rank, ah, we're number four in Africa, for crying out loud. So mm. if, if we're number four in Africa, we should be considered as one of the favorites. So you should live with that tag. We should live with and it. Get, and get to work. Mm. Okay, get to work. I think I like the last one. Chukweze, he will be gone for second Europa gold uh, tonight. Can these two guys really light up Europe? They can. They can. Uh, Chukweze for me especially. Especially Chukweze, yeah. But not to uh, It will be because you don't know what Una Emre is thinking. Okay. You know, he chops and changes a lot. A lot. So you don't know. Mm. I'll, I'll definitely be watching uh, the Villarreal uh, Valencia yeah, game closely, that. yeah. yeah. Chukweze, what a okay. player. The last one here is the golden neglect of to Tanzania. And so, are you wishing them? Can they bring the trophy? Yeah. I, I, I always shy away from <laughs> <laughs> this trophy thing at, you know, age grade competition. competition I think yeah. Let them go out there, continue their education, and let's see how well they can do. Mm. Mine is, five, ten years from now, guys in this team should be... Where are they? should be talking about them for the 2026 World Cup. Exactly. Okay. That's it. Fizzling out. I'm not putting them under pressure. I see the headline a few minutes ago. <laughs> NFL asked, go to the glad to go and bring. <laughs> nah, shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't at all. Mm. Well, I just want to thank you so much for coming on the program. It's a pleasure. Appreciate yeah. it. Fantastic it debut, I have to say. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> all right, thank you guys for watching. I'm Cecilia Morbe. I'm Taya Salam. Enjoy the rest of your day.